I've begged Sean. And I've asked him why he didn't take me instead that day. Instead, he took Kate. Day three of the trial of Sean Phillips found missing baby Kate's mother, Ariel Cortland, back on the stand, facing a cross-examination from the defense team. Their goal today to place doubt in the minds of jurors that Phillips was capable of wrongdoing in their child's disappearance. He would feed Kate? Yes. He would dress Kate? Yes. He would hold Kate? Yes. He loved Kate? I thought he did. Did he say he loved you like a daughter? I asked him if he loved Kate because she's a baby and everybody loves babies, or if he loves her because she's his daughter, and he said, I love her because she's mine. Once again, Phillips' defense team hammered away on Cortland's previous testimony. They claim her story has changed over time. On redirect by prosecutors, Cortland spoke emotionally about her jailhouse conversations with the accused. And I've asked him over and over, why? Why didn't you take me? You were mad at me, not her. But instead, you took her. And he never answers me. I'd be willing to go back in time and make him take me. If that meant that I knew that Kate was going to be alive and she was okay. To this day, I would die for her if that meant that she would be able to be here with us right now. Cortland claimed she was pressured by Phillips to talk about abortion and then adoption of their child. Three more witnesses, two of Ariel's friends, and a 911 dispatcher were called to testify after Cortland was dismissed. It was a day full of testimony that almost didn't happen at all. This morning, the judge in the case announced a citizen in the courtroom had posted a picture of the jury on Facebook. After a discussion, the defense team said they did not want to pursue that as grounds for a mistrial.